What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Ashley and I have been doing Postmates for over a week now and we have figured out some tips and tricks that might help you guys if you want to do Postmates. So first things first, usually what we do is we make sure our phone's charged, we got a full tank of gas. This one is optional, but we usually bring our own lunches so we're not spending money on going out to eat. And after we have all that situated and done, we go online. Boom. Now it's searching for offers. So when you go online, Postmates gives you a GPS of your location. The camera doesn't focus good on my phone, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and screenshot that. I'm gonna put a picture of what it looks like right here. Right now, there are no deliveries around. What we wanna do is we wanna get into that pink and red area. We're gonna drive to the busier area so we can get some deliveries going. Okay guys, we just got our first delivery and it is to Chipotle. We're gonna go ahead and accept it. We are almost to Chipotle, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my mask on. Every restaurant requires you to wear a mask to even go inside anymore. So I got my mask on, ready. And we usually use Germex to clean our hands. We don't really wear gloves because we feel like you're touching something and then, you know, the germs are just gonna stick to the gloves. So we just use Germex. So we just pulled into Chipotle and it looks like they got two burrito bowls and some chips. After I get the food, I come to the trunk and I have a whole setup back here. I got heat bags and a cooler. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and set the food in the heat bag and then place it in the cooler. Now I'm going to go ahead and complete the pickup. Drop off to C. Now what I like to do is I usually hand off the phone to Ashley while I'm putting the food in the truck so she can go ahead and get the navigation and get things going a little better. But since we're doing this for a video, I'm going to go ahead and go to Google Maps and actually type in the address. I don't like the GPS Postmates gives you. So we like to use Google Maps. So delivering with Postmates, you don't know what you're gonna make until after you're done with the delivery and then Postmates comes up and tells you how much you made for that delivery and the customer has an option to tip you or not to tip you and you usually see the tips come in within 24 hours, but sometimes they take longer. With DoorDash, your tip's already included, so you can pretty much pick and choose whichever deliveries you wanna take. But with Postmates, you really wanna choose the sit-down restaurants because usually those tip more than fast food. So that's why we like to do like Chipotle and stuff like that. Hey guys, so we just dropped off the food and this one required me to take a photo. So all I did was drop the food off at the doorstep, took a picture, uploaded it, and now we're gonna complete the drop off. We earned $3.94 on that before tip. So after a delivery, if no new deliveries have come in, I like to go and find a shopping center with a whole bunch of restaurants and just sit there and wait for something to come in. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna sit here and wait till a sit down restaurant comes in. If that doesn't come in anytime soon, we might have to take some fast food deliveries. Well, looks like a Thai place come in, but see that actually looks like a far distance. No, not really. So the good thing about Postmates is you can kind of zoom out and see where you're at. So let's go ahead and accept this and we're gonna go ahead and do this delivery. After I pick up the delivery, Another tip is I like to text the customer. Postmates allows you to get in touch with the customer. You can call them, text them, whatever you need to do. But I usually like to send them a text saying, hey, I got your food. Is there anything else I can get you condiments wise, ketchup, mustard, anything? You know, just let the customer know that you care and that you wanna be as good a service as you can. Sometimes going that extra mile helps you get a better tip. The more the customer sees that you care, the more they're gonna tip. Okay guys, I just dropped the food off to them. I like to go ahead and text them, say, hey, thanks for using Postmates, hope you have a good day. Make sure that they know that you care and usually it ends up in a better tip. And then I'll go ahead and complete the drop off. I also wanna go over like what you're wearing. Make sure you're presentable. You don't wanna just go and start delivering after you worked out and you got your workout clothes on and stuff like that. You wanna make sure you got a nice outfit on and you look presentable. Guys, we just got a delivery for a kebab place and that's a, pretty expensive sit down place so you might get a pretty good tip the only downside is that this is an order and pays usually you have to go to the restaurant and order and it just takes a lot of time but we're gonna call it in hello um yes i need a place to go order uh sure what would you like to order it's one beef is it kubita kebab plate Okay. And then uh, okay. a, fal a falude bastani 12 ounce. A falude bastani, sure. And then a fresh baklava three piece. 
Do you mind repeating that back to me? Sure. It's uh, beef kubide, lamb kubide, spicy, kashka badamja, polo de bastani, and blah, blah, blah. Perfect. How long do you think that'll be? 30 minutes to be ready. All right. Thank you. Well, those names were interesting. <laughs> I ended up just handing the phone to Zach because I couldn't do it. I, those names were crazy. The tricks on that one were kind of tricky because we couldn't pronounce it. But anyways, you want to call ahead, get that order going so that you don't have to order once you get to the restaurant. It's already being made. So I just texted the customer, let them know we're here waiting on their food. It's just that good customer service that helps you get the better tips. The reason you want to call in because we got that food pretty quick. And if we didn't call in, we'd have to go sit and wait for a good 30 minutes. And that took, what, 10, 10 minutes? Now I'm going to text the customer and say we're on the way. All right, guys, we've shown you our tips and tricks on how to make $120 plus a day on Postmates. We're going to continue to do this until the deliveries stop or slows down. So I was actually looking at my deliveries, and one of the days we delivered, all of the tips have come in. So I'm going to show you how much we have made on that day. Okay, this is a day that we made over $120 in one day delivering. This is all the money and tips Postmates has paid us for this day. I added it all up and it equaled around $132, but that's just in one day. If you look at the times, it's actually from 5.34 to 9.55 p.m. So that's five hours of work. So I wanted to actually tell you how much we made for today, but that's going to be kind of hard considering tips take some time to come in when you're doing Postmates. So I wanted to find a day on my deliveries that all the tips have already come in so I can add them up and tell you how much we made. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Turn on those post notifications so that you don't miss another video. Peace.